The last time we took a look at running PhysX on either your CPU or your GPU, we were using a Ryzen R7 1800X and a GTX 1080. And this would be a reasonable high-end gaming build, but a lot of people felt that that was unnecessary and not necessarily a good match. So what we're doing today is we are taking a Ryzen Threadripper 1950X and putting it up against a GTX 970. Now, keep in mind, this is a processor that could cost up to 10 times the graphics card. It's not really a good balance at all, but to prove a point that the graphics card is indeed the better choice when it comes to running PhysX, we're going to run some benchmarks. Specifically, we're going to test Fluidmark again, Passion Leads Army, a DirectX 12 Elemental demo, and of course, Metro Last Light, which does use PhysX. And to even help out the processor even more, we are overclocking this Threadripper to 3.9 GHz, and we have Quad Channel DDR4 running at 2800 MHz. And the graphics card, we're just going to leave it at stock clocks. So there you have it, even with a ridiculous matchup of a 970 and a 1950X, you cannot get the CPU to perform physics better than the GPU. Whereas the CPU may have dozens of cores, the graphics card has thousands of cores. It's just not a fair comparison. With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more ridiculous overkill comparisons, make sure to subscribe by clicking on wherever the subscribe button is down there. Make sure while you're fumbling around underneath this video to hit that like button, and we'll see you again in the future.